for me, it is harder waiting this extra time, but it, we couldn't help it. Nearly eight decades later, the remains of an Iowa sailor killed at Pearl Harbor were identified, but the coronavirus would then go on to delay the military funeral for a whole extra year. WHO 13's Janae Town reports on the wait that is finally over. In a small cemetery in the small town of Ackley. And there's a lot of his family around the cemetery. A gravestone right next to his parents marks the life and loss of Leo Kenninger, gone 80 years this year. I thought about my grandparents a little later on, how hard that must have been for them. To lose a son in the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Assigned to the USS Oklahoma, the 20-year-old died when the ship was torpedoed and sank by Japanese aircraft. Killed in action, his body was never recovered. I was getting old enough that it had been long enough ago. I thought it would never happen in my lifetime. Then Martha Wallace got a call about her uncle that sent their lives spinning. It was kind of a shock, but a good shock. After a lifetime of waiting, the World War II sailor went from the USS Oklahoma unknowns to finally being accounted for. I just got goosebumps. <laughs> um, I'd hoped for it, like all my cousins, we'd hoped for it. Um, we had hoped for it when our parents were still around to enjoy it, but we were grateful that it was us. As of right now, as of today, we have accounted for 338 of the 392 who were buried as unknowns at Punchbowl Cemetery after World War II. In 2015, the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency began exhuming the remains of the unknowns. The USS Oklahoma Project has been analyzing and identifying the sailors and Marines ever since. For those families, it's a long time coming. The work for the families to get their loved ones back to them, uh, that's really the whole, that's the whole reason we do this. I felt like he was a family member. I think all of us cousins, um, Felt like um, he was still part of the family, even though we didn't know him, never met him, but he's still part of the family. And his legacy in Ackley lives on right on Main Street. It's the Elliot Kenninger uh, Legion. The American Legion, named after the first person in their community to die in World War I, and her uncle Leo, the first hometown casualty of World War II. They were never forgotten. And we are trying to fulfill that solemn pledge to never leave them behind, to go find them and bring them home to their family. Surrounded by family, U.S. Navy Fireman First Class Leo T. Kenninger will finally be laid to rest. He'll be really at home with the rest of his family. In Ackley, Janae Town, WHO 13 News. There's a visitation for Kenninger this Friday at the Ackley High School Gymnasium. It's from 6 until 8, and the public is welcome to attend that.